Hey, it's Mr. Mattis here. Uh, some people have been asking me that they about their time and topic goals. How do you check their time and topic goals because they're not showing up in Alex? Um, and I'm not putting time and topic goals on Alex this year. I'm just going to verbalize them or send them out through email or Google Classroom because they're inflexible. Um, if we need to change a time and topic goal, but it's already been assigned, I don't have the ability to go in and change it. Um, but then that begs a question, well, how do I find out how many topics I've done and how much time do I have left? Um, so the answer is when you are in Alex, you can go to the, the three bar menu up here, the hamburger menu. You click on the hamburger menu and you go to reports. And as soon as you come into the reports, it's going to tell you what this week's activity is. And we do time and topics basically from Monday through Sunday. So if you don't get them done during the week, I give you the weekend to do it. Um, so it sets it up Monday through Sunday. And right now you see I have 18 minutes and 46 seconds and I have three topics learned. So you can do a simple subtraction and figure out how much more time and how many more topics you have to learn. Uh, you can also view the full report and it'll tell you day by day how long you've been working. And if you tap on the little bar, it'll tell you what topics you have been working on. Um, you can click on these and it'll tell you what the question was that you got and the answer that you submitted. Especially look at the wrong ones. You can look at a wrong one and it'll tell you what it is. And notice I just I missed a negative on this one. So that's something that I can go back and look at. Um, so then the question becomes what happens when you get all of your topics done but you have not completed your time? What are you supposed to do? And there are there are three options. The best option is to review. Because you're going to be getting knowledge checks, which are like the tests. And reviewing for that is, it'll help you understand them and remember them better. Um, so you can review. You can go through different topics. Like if you say, oh, I know how to do this one. Uh, maybe I'm a little struggling a little bit on this one. You can go to this. You can also search for topics. Um, if you remember, right, I'm not sure that I pointed it out. But the, the one that I got wrong was an additive property of equalities with a negative coefficient. So I can type that in here and it'll bring me up to that particular lesson. So if I if I looked at my topics and said, oh, there's a lot of red X's here, I can go look at that topic and practice that a little bit more. All right, so your best option is to review. Um, your next best, best option is to do some quick tables. Multiplication and division, practicing your facts, those are extremely important, especially through algebra uh, when you have variables uh, and you can't necessarily use a calculator all the time. You have to be good at multiplying and dividing. And then your final option is keep going. All right, you can keep going. You can go above and beyond your topic goal, and that's fine. Um, my only issue with this is that puts a lot more on your knowledge check. So your knowledge check, we typically like to have you know, 20 to 30 topics on there. But if you just keep going and going and going and do more topics without knowledge checks, sometimes your knowledge check could have, you know, 60 or 70 topics. And that's a lot of things to, to try to remember. Um, so once again, to check out what you have for time and topic, go to the reports and it'll tell you. And then obviously we've got some review, some quick tables and more topics if you need more time. But please, please don't be that guy that just lets Alex run and get your time goal. Try to be productive with what you have to work with.